Is the thing that you are building, the thing you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears in, the effort that you are making, is it worth the effort? And if you cannot answer affirmatively to that question, then the time is now to reevaluate. Welcome to the Rutledge Perspective. And this week we are going to be talking about what it's worth to you. So your question is, you spent all of this time building a business. You're trying to figure out about a team. You're trying to figure out if you're going to stay in the market or whatever the thing is. And the question is, what is it worth to you to figure it out? So let me tell you a little story. During the pandemic, I started gardening. And I started gardening under duress because my radio producer at the time challenged me on air. And so I couldn't like back out. So I started gardening. Now, I hate bugs, hate with a capital H, hate bugs. And so I knew I wasn't going to be digging in the dirt. So I spent all this money doing stand up planters and raised gardens and all that. And I actually found it to be quite rewarding. And as a lot of people did during the pandemic, I really enjoyed actually having my hands in the dirt. I just wasn't going to dig in the ground. But if you give me potting soil above the ground, I'm good. Still had bugs, but wasn't nothing like digging in the dirt. And one of the plants that I planted, I planted okra, I planted peppers. I did some flowers, but the the food was peppers and okra and some tomatoes, but I didn't want tomato worms. But my favorite that I was excited about was cucumbers. I wanted cucumbers so bad because I love cucumbers love them. And the first year I got nothing, nothing, nothing. And the gardening people said, well, you know, with cucumbers, you need to get a minimum of two plants, but most people get four to six because you got the male and the female plant and all of the things. I thought, okay, fine. So year two, plant cucumbers, get four plants. They start vining and they've got all those little tendril things that connect, right? So I got everything ready. I'm setting up the trellises. Y'all, it was a thing. And I still got nothing. Still got absolutely nothing. So year three, I thought, third time's a charm. We're going to make this happen. It's going to happen. I got four plants, not six. I got four plants. I actually started getting flowers and I started getting all these little baby cucumbers. And I was so excited. And nothing was happening. They would like start shriveling up and dying. And so, because I didn't know what I was doing, I decided to go look and see what was happening and talk to the garden people. I started self-pollinating with the little paint brushes. Y'all, I was doing all the things. And I still was getting nothing. And finally, I went to talk to them and I said, I, I did the pollination by hand. I did all the things. And she said, well, do you have any bees? And I said, no, I don't, I don't have any bees in my yard. You really need some bees. So remember the question at the top of this podcast, what is it worth to you? Y'all, I hate bugs. I'm terrified of bees, terrified. I got stung once and that was it for me. I'm absolutely terrified. Now, master gardeners and folks like that will tell you bees are harmless. They don't want anything to do with you. They are not worried about you, Laurel. The bees don't need you, don't want you. In fact, they'd rather you leave them alone. They want the little flower but it's still a bee. So I'm freaked out. But I had to pause and say, now Laurel, if you got to have bees to have cucumbers, how badly do you want those cucumbers? And quite frankly, how bad do you you want anything else in your garden? Because there were some other things that were kind of having some trouble because there's no pollinators and we all know what's happening with the bees. And I had to sit and say, what do I really want? And what am I willing to do to get it. And so one of the things that I've had to decide to do is to put some flowering plants in the back corner of my yard, because I don't need them too close to me, back corner of my yard that attract bees and butterflies and all the things. But that then allows the bees to find the other plants, but they got somewhere else to go to, right? They don't get to stay with my cucumbers. (laughs) They get to stay in the back. But I had to ask myself, what am I willing to do? So. When you think about this business that you're building, you are building this professional services business. You're an incredible woman. You're one of the 114% increase in women businesses over the pandemic and the last 10 years. In fact, you're a black woman or woman of color 
that are building businesses and starting businesses faster than any other demographic. But what is it worth to you? My program is Alignment Vision Action because it gets back to four clear questions. Who you are, where you are, what you want, and what it takes to get there. And not only what does it take to get there, but what are you willing to do to take the action? What is it worth to you? Is the business you're building worth the sleepless nights and the pain and the dis-ease that comes with building in the beginning? Because if you listen to everyone, they'll say, it should be easy. You shouldn't be working as hard. I'm going to teach you how to build businesses with ease. And they probably are doing it easily now, but it wasn't with ease when they started. So what is it worth to you to spend those first few months or years or whatever it takes to not be easy? Are you willing to go and do the work and have the pain and the exhaustion and the challenges because that mission you have is so great? Is it worth it enough to you to be able to take in information and shift when you need to, to keep your eye on the destination, but be flexible about the path to get there? Is it worth giving up some control? Because all you can control is your actions. You absolutely cannot control the outcomes. What is it worth to you? Is it worth building a team of folks that are incredibly talented, that buy into the mission, that have the skills that are needed for you to get there, and that you might have to change because at some point, the people who got you here are not going to get you there. What is it worth to you? Is it worth making those tough people decisions? Is it worth saying no to some things so you can say yes to the right things? Sometimes we hold on to what we thought we wanted so bad that there's no room in our hands for anything else. But if you're serious about what you're trying to get, is it worth giving up the short term for the long term? That old saying, short-term pain for long-term gain. Are you willing to go to the gym every day and eat well because you can't outwork a bad diet? Are you willing to do that? To not have the cake now? To work out now? Because later, you'll be able to have as much cake as you want because your body is now a machine. It's processing better. And you probably won't even want the cake as much as you used to want the cake. What is it worth to you? Is the thing that you are building, the thing you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears in, the effort that you are making, is it worth the effort? And if you cannot answer affirmatively to that question, then the time is now to reevaluate. And here's the kicker. There is no shame in saying, I changed my mind. Life happens and life is lifing for real, for real. If you have changed your mind and what you thought you wanted isn't what you really want, or it was great then, but it's not good now, it is okay to say, "Mm, that just doesn't work for me anymore. So I am going to shift. I'm going to reevaluate. I'm going to pivot. Y'all know how much I love that word pivot. I'm going to pivot. It is okay because at the end of the day, what is it worth to you to achieve the thing you say you want to achieve? And if one of those is time freedom, money freedom, the ability to just be at peace in your home, in your body, in your life, what is that worth to you? Those foundational pieces, what is it worth to you? What are you willing to do? Are you willing to take that job that you hate and put it in the appropriate perspective so that you're not hurting you because you're mad at them? You're willing to sit, make a plan, and then take action on that plan. You're willing to say, you know what? This job is not my life, but it is a funding resource for the thing that is my life. So I'm going to sit right here in this job that I do well. And I'm going to continue to do well because that's my brand. I'm not going to just stop showing up. 
but I'm also going to put it in enough perspective that this job doesn't take over all of my emotion, all of my psyche, and it absolutely doesn't take all of my energy because they're not paying me to have all of me. They are paying me to get the part of me that executes on the expectations that they have set for me and that I have set for them. Once that's done, it's done. Is it worth it to you to set those boundaries? Are you worth it to you to set those boundaries? Because only you can set them. Only you can decide what it is you want and how willing you are to do the work to make it happen. What is it worth to you? I will tell you right now, those cucumbers and at least getting one harvest of cucumbers is worth it to me to have some bees in my yard. It is worth it. It's worth the effort. Gardening is worth the effort. Waiting all summer for peppers to come through is worth the effort because there's such joy in being able to make my pepper sauce with peppers out of my own garden. It's worth it to be able to look at a plant and say, I did that. Well, God did that, but I helped it. It is worth it to put in the effort to see the fruits of that labor. It is worth it to go through this challenge of building this business because I know the impact that I am making and I am living into the purpose that I've been put here to do. It's worth it. And it is not easy and it is not smooth and it is not guaranteed. But what is guaranteed is that if I don't do something, nothing will happen. So this week, I want you to dig deep, really sit, pause, think with no judgment. That's the key with no judgment and decide what is that thing you want worth to you? Time, energy, and money. What is it worth to you? And what are you willing to do to make it happen? Let me know what you come up with, but you got to give yourself the space to think about that. And the reason I say no judgment is because if your decision is, you know, it's just not anymore or at this time, be okay with that because life is long and tomorrow's not guaranteed. So spend the time that you have doing things that you love, or at least putting the things that you hate in perspective, because they're getting you to the thing that you love. Let me know what came up for you. You can get to me on laurelrutledge.com. You can connect to me on all my socials through my website. And I want to hear what came up for you and what you decided to do. It's really important for me to know that just because I'm curious and I really want to know what came up. Thank you so much as always for tuning into the Rutledge Perspective. I truly appreciate it. I know that you have a choice and I am always so grateful when you choose to listen to me and do me a favor. If you would, please go out to Apple podcasts or Spotify or wherever your favorite podcast platform is. And please give us a five-star rating and a review that helps the podcast get out to more people and to serve more people because I'm here to serve. Thank you again. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching this video. If it said something to you, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And you can find more of my video content here. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.